Morning, everybody. Four and I am. Yes, day 264. So over the weekend, I was in Washington, D.C., and I got to visit the National Museum of American, of African American, excuse me, African American history and culture. And what I like about it is because it doesn't, a lot of us have the misconception that um, African American history uh, starts at slavery. Right. Which is not true. That is not true about us. We do not just start a slave. We didn't just pop up and just went into chains. That's not how it goes. So and what I like about it is that they uh, they start that we were kings and queens of Africa. You know, and I remember being in elementary school and we would learn about uh, I remember one name. Oh, not not her right here. Queen Nzinga, not her. It was um, Queen Makiba. Makinda, Makiba, I'm going to say Makiba. You get the fact checks are out there. You can you can fact check that. But yes, yeah, so we learned about that in elementary school, and I don't know if they learn about that now in elementary school. But I remember going to CS 200, and they had the they had all the African stuff on the wall. They want us to know this is where you come from, your kings, your queens, your beautiful. It was it was very uplifting in you know elementary school for me. Boom, here we go. So. As we go through, of course, they, you know, they get into slavery, the transition, the trauma that it caused. Uh, they show you the actual chains. They show you the boat. They show you all of this stuff, right? All of it. They, they go through it. Oh, one thing. And I, what I liked about certain, certain things about history that I didn't know, like those sugar plantations were the worst. I mean, worse than cotton plantations. Like sugar was like gold, like literally. So did not realize that <clears throat> the different chains they had for the men, the women and the children, you know, uh, just go and tell you different parts of, of history, where we were, where it started. Excuse me. Keep going through. Now, what I would say about, about this museum is that I really feel like every, uh, everyone, right? But especially black people, I really feel like we should visit this museum more often. And I'm going to tell you why. For me, this is what, oh, wait, let me just go back. And I feel like this piece was important, to, was important too. A lot of, a lot of people don't read. And I don't know what that's about, but that is not cute that you don't read. And reading does not consist of just Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. It does not consist of that. Read. You need to read. You need to read. I cannot express this enough. When is the last time you picked up a book and read? When was the last time you actually picked up a book and was like, you know what? I'm going to read this. We're going to go to this constitution right here real quick. Do you know that we were only considered three-fifths of a person? I'm going to run that back. Three-fifths of a person? You're not even a whole person. A dog is more of a person than you. I'm just going to point that out. I'm getting a little triggered. Let me slow it on down. Boom. So here we go. We keep going. We keep going. I would say this. This experience right here... Just encouraged me to go hard. Now, a lot of us, now when you see stuff like this, like waiting rooms, a lot of people say like, well, if that was me back then, if that was me back then, I would you don't know what you would have done. You don't understand the fear these people had. And it took a few courageous ones to be like, no, I'm not going for it. And who knows if you would have been that one. You can say that now. You can say that now, but until you were in those shoes, you do not know what that type of fear is. So I would say for me, it encouraged me to not live and love out of a place of fear. Let me repeat that. To not live and love out of a place of fear. If you want to do that, do it. You see, they did it. They were sitting at them counters. They was, they had one section, right? Where they were talking about like fashion and you know how black people are so creative and stuff like that. They were talking, they had like a whole section on it. And do you know our fashions and none of that stuff was recognized into the 1970s? Meanwhile, we've been out here putting on and they taking the credit. I'm just saying, I'm just gonna put it out there. This is definitely a museum that you need to visit. And for me, it just encouraged me to just go hard. Like no matter what, because what it tells you is this, right? Because you got you to gotta, you gotta change your perspective of how you look at things when we're about to get surgical. What it tells you is this, is that as a black person in America, right? As a black person in America, right? You are born behind the start line. You are born behind the start line. You ever heard that big Sean song? He was like, we got an extra, extra, extra try. He was not, that is the truth. That is no BS. And a lot of us may know that, but we don't act like we know that. Sometimes myself included, like, nah, it's all right, I'm going to put it off. No, stop putting it off. Don't put nothing off. Put on. But you know what? That's going to be the name of this video. Put on. I'm sorry, guys. I get a little distracted. Put on. Another thing, excuse me, that it encouraged me to do is read. Now, it does matter what you're reading because a lot of people will say to you, oh, all the books is lies. I don't need to read. I'm making money. What reading going to do for me? It's not about the money. Golly, there's more to life than money. Money puts you in a better position. I'm not going to hold you. You know, I will be remiss. Not to say that. It puts you in a better position. But what about your mind? And look at this. I didn't know this. 
You know, like they were at the at the dining counters, like, oh, we're not gonna go black. I didn't know they were they were doing this at the at the drug stores too. This and this is what speaks to the healthcare system. They've been like this. When it comes to us, they've been like this. They didn't even want to give us medicine. We had to boy be at the score the counter, like, no, you're gonna serve me. Come on, man. Make it make sense. Read. Read. I'm I'm so emotional about this because you got to read. You have to read. Educate yourself. We be so quick to, to Google how to do this, Google how to do that. Do this. no Google how to read more. Find your books. You don't have to just read anything. And sometimes you need to read other, you need to read the enemy's work. I'm just gonna put that out there. You need to read stuff like that. Read, read it. Read that white pale host. Read that. Read it. Don't just look at the movie. Read. You understand me? I cannot, I cannot. A lot of us don't read, man. You gotta read. I don't care. This, this, I'm, I, I know, I know people that are, you know, are in a tax free business. You know what I mean? And, and they read. They read. You think they out here in these streets doing no people read? All of us read. Visit this. Oh, this is my boo, Ida B. Wells. If y'all don't know her, yes, I love Ida B. Wells. She was a great newspaper editor. I love her. This is my boo ski. But yeah, read. I, I'm just gonna keep saying that. And let me you don't have to go to because I know some people don't like to go to libraries. Maybe you don't have time. You don't have to go to Barnes and Nobles. Oh, the books are too expensive. Yeah, the books are too expensive, but you'll spend money on other stuff. But I get it. Everybody's priorities are different. It's thriftbooks.com. That's where I get all my books from. Thriftbooks.com. The only book that I bought. Beside, but out of thriftbooks.com, well, not from thriftbooks.com, when I was in the airport, that Michelle Obama book. That is the only book that I got that I did not get from thriftbooks.com. I mean, they got books for $5. $5. I encourage everybody to go to this museum. I'm not, I'm not even going to hold you. I feel like, I feel like a lot of us need to be like, you, you need, you need, sometimes you need to get triggered to do something. You know what I mean? You can't just keep living the same cycle. Like it's it's bigger than I'm getting to the bag. Yeah, get to the bag, but you can read too. A lot of us have jobs where we can we can read at our jobs. You know, if it's not an interactive job, you can read at your job. People will want it dead or alive fighting for rights. Stuff that we take for granted. Word. You do you see how what's going on in this government? Like th- listen, I'm not a big fan of the news. I hate the news. It is very depressing. But when I do, when I do decide to you know, research my own news of what, what is true. It's like, it's an agenda being, it's an agenda here. You understand? It's an agenda being pushed. Read, man. That's why, they, that's why they got all these TikTok. Read, read, man. Read something. Pick up a book and read. I strongly encourage you. If you're going out of town, if you just want to do a, a, a day trip, go to that museum. And they got some good food over there. I'm not going to hold you. The food was good. Yes, we went to a nice little restaurant afterwards. It was really little jazzy shanty. I really liked it. So, you know, you could get you, uh, you get educated and, and get you some food. Beautiful. I strongly recommend it's the National, oh, excuse me, the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Boy, and I out. Yeah.